So this section we're going to deal with um, the dolly itself. So uh, we have various various parts like we have the motor brackets, motor bracket, um, you know bearing mounts with you know bearings. Um, we have the motor controller board, battery unit, and nuts and bolts and washer. So we're going to um, do all of that now. Um, so let's just get down to it. Okay, so this is the battery pack of choice So it clicks open like that. So it's nice and convenient for putting, you know, eight AA batteries Eight AA batteries. Yeah um, So I mount this onto the plate um, so Let me just see so mounted on here. I have two holes here for the mounting of the battery pack and there's a section here in the battery pack where we can you know put the bolts through um, to, to kind of hide them uh, so we don't have to put them through the back of the pack itself and that would get in the way of the battery anyway so if we take off this little plate we see that there's a couple of wires in here so I have pre-drilled two holes in there um, just to match up with the two holes here on the plate so um, Now we're good. So if we took the wires back in, put back on our little cover. So that's our battery pack in place. So the way the pipes run along the plate, or along the, the rail is this way, so that we can always, you know, pop open the battery pack without taking the rail off. So that's why it's in the, in the middle there, so we can change batteries conveniently. Okay, uh, so next, I guess I might put on some uh, of the bearing mounts. Now, the way the bearing works is that the bearings go on like this, and the the bearings go on like that. Um, so, just to get that on in here, there's a, a captive nut placement. So, there's a kind of a trick to get the nuts in. So, it takes an M4 nut. And then up from the bottom comes a you know a 20 mil 15 mil millimeter i mean uh, a bolt uh, but to get them in is quite quite tricky um, so just to show you how i get them in put a bolt through here first put the uh, the nut on so you see the nut has to go down into that captive nut so it's quite tight so what I do is I just take a vice grips and push it down into it right and then I screw screw this up so that. okay so that should pull Pull the nut down through and I can just push it down with my vice grips to open her up. Okay, you can see that it's going down. Okay, so that's gone down in maybe a little crooked but that's fine so you can see that the nut is all the way gone all the way down in so then I can just undo now that's quite hot so there's one of the captive nuts in there so let's put that aside and I have a bunch of four that I prepared earlier uh, so they're all ready to um, to put on. So let's mount them on the board. That's our four bearing mounts down. So now we're going to put just put the uh, these guys in. Now some of them are loose, so might need to pack a little bit of you know plastic or something in there to actually tighten them up. But most of them need a bit of persuasion so we'll just screw them in like that 
so next let's do the motor bracket so the motor bracket is a custom sorry it's a, it's an off-the-shelf bracket that i got from um, aliexpress they sell these now they just take these standard uh, dc motors um with the holes pre-drilled in the right spot with screws and everything um so we're just going to mount that on there motor bracket on right so that's it there motor bracket on let's put on the two brackets for now what these are for is for the bearing so the bearing takes the timing belt you know so the bearings go there the timing belt or the timing pulley goes there so the, the, the timing belt comes in down around the timing pulley and then onto the other bearing so what we want is to have something like this where the timing belt goes through uh, two pulleys you know we're going to separate them out a bit so that it matches the width of the at the timing pulley um, but we'll do that after we put on the put on the brackets okay so what we've ended up with is two um, brackets for the, the uh, bearings and one for the motor so let's stick on the motor so i have these i think i'm missing one screw actually Anyway, no matter. So these just go nicely on. And they're countersunk and you know, they just make a nice, it's a nice little bracket. Now I did have to cut the, the nut, cut the bolts because they were slightly too long. So I cut two mil off each of the the nuts with me angle grinder. No matter. Okay, so we have five of the six. And there and the last of the five. I think I dropped the other one if it were earlier, so I don't know where it's gone. So now you can see there. Okay, so next is um, one of the tricky little bits to get. Okay, we should have put this on first, so I don't think I can actually screw it in place there. Maybe I can, I can, yeah. So that's in place, so it's just screwing on. I'll just show you that again. So this guy, when you 3D print it, has a captive nut, as you can see it in there, and an M3 um, bolt uh, that just goes in and pushes off the flat part of the, um, the motor. This is a flat part, so when you put it on, tighten up the, the nut against the flat part. I don't think I can tighten that properly there now. So anyway, it's fine for the moment. Okay, so next part. Is to put on the uh, on these guys now let me see I think it's just a case of take as take however many washers you need. know I have large washers to keep the you need those to keep the actual um, timing belt in alignment now, different thickness of washers I like to use two thick washers and uh, one on either side of the timing pulley and then a nut and that will straighten up when I tighten the nut because I've got a lock washer in there so let's see if we can tighten that up bend that slightly back bracket okay so that's looking pretty good let me just grab the timing belt to <coughs> so timing belt will go in that way so 
that's fine that's nice so that so it runs through there under the pulley and then back up to the other the other guy so let's get the other guy on flexibility so let's check that with the tie with the rail or sorry the Yep, so that moves nice and smooth, that moves nice and smooth. Fits nicely on the timing belt. So just to show you that from the other side. So you can see there, so. There. So that moves nice and smooth through there, and that moves nice and smooth through there. You know, so that'll go through once the motors, and it keeps the timing belt in position. It's important to have those um, larger, larger um, washers there because it keeps the timing belt in alignment. Otherwise, it might just slip off the the bearing. That's basically that. The only thing that's left to do is to put on the control board, and that's just a few nuts and bolts so I like to leave it a bit elevated off the the bolt or off the um, the wood just in case we may use die bond which is kind of an aluminium thing uh, but so I just use for this I have some plastic nylon uh, nuts and bolts particular reason maybe might be better for to avoid short circuits but I just haven't had these lying around again that's four so because it's laser cut um, I'm hoping that the uh, the holes are in the right place when I drop this on it drops on in perfect position yeah check beforehand <laughs> okay and that's so another bolt sorry nut another nut and a final nut okay and that's that hand so that's our dolly uh don't don't do the wiring now we'll do the wiring later um but that's basically it construction of the dolly from start to finish up to the point of wiring.